Meet Little Tarsicius, a 12-year-old boy who lived in Rome during the 3rd century. Valerian was the Roman Emperor. He hated people who believed in Jesus Christ. People would get arrested and killed if the Empire discovered that they believed in Jesus Christ. Many Christians lost their homes, titles, and money during that time. They were imprisoned and then thrown in the middle of a Colosseum and eaten by lion because they refused to worship Roman pagan entities. Due to the persecution, Christians would go outside the city in isolated places and dig tunnels in the ground so they could meet up in secret away from prying eyes. Those tunnels were called catacombs. Bishops and priests would celebrate Mass there and give the body and blood of the Lord Jesus Christ to many courageous believers. Some parts of the catacombs were reserved for the burial of dead Christians. They still exist to this day and can be visited in Rome. Despite the dangerous circumstances, little Tarsicius was a devoted follower of Christ. He would attend those secret gatherings and help the priests during Mass. He was an acolyte. Today, we would call him an altar server. It is said that one day, the bishop received a secret letter from prison. His fellow clergymen, along with other Christians, were asking for the Holy Eucharist to be brought to them. They needed the Holy Communion to strengthen their souls while waiting for their faith. Being in jail meant they would be tortured until they denied their faith or they would be devoured by lions. So who was going to risk their lives to take the body and blood of the Lord Jesus Christ to the prisoners? The bishop was in distress. Who could he send? He prayed to God to help him find a solution. That's when little Tarsicius stepped in. He volunteered to go on the mission, but the bishop refused to have him do it. He was too young for such a heavy task. Tarsicius insisted, saying that his young age was exactly what was going to help him go unnoticed. He was finally able to convince the bishop, so a little box filled with hosts in a linen cloth was given to him. The bishop reminded him how important and sacred the content was. He told him to avoid crowded streets. Tarsicius understood the importance of his mission and vowed to protect the body of Christ at all costs. As he was hurrying to his destination, he ran into a group of playmates who were getting ready to start a game. As soon as they saw Tarsicius, they called him over. They needed an extra player. Tarsicius refused their offer and tried to speed away. But they noticed he was holding something in his tunic and started following him. They quickly caught up with him and asked what he was concealing. Tarsicius refused to respond or show them anything, which made them even more suspicious. They kept insisting, so he became afraid and whispered a prayer to Jesus to please strengthen him. One of them heard him and shouted to the rest that he was a Christian. The group concluded that he was hiding some Christian mystery under his clothes. They were determined to get it from him, but he was holding on to it for dear life. So they started attacking him, kicking him, and even throwing rocks at him. They beat him until the poor little boy fell on the ground. He was on the brink of death. A soldier who was passing by scattered the angry mob. As he came close to little Tarsicius, they recognized one another. They had seen each other at mass in the catacomb. The soldier was another secret member of the church. Tarsicius gave him the host and explained his secret assignment before taking his last breath. He had been able to keep God safe from the pagan gang. The soldier hid the body of Christ and later took it to the prisoners. Tarsicius died in 257 AD. His tomb was found in the catacombs in San Castillo, 
Pope Damasus I wrote a poem about him, saluting his courage and his immense and inspirational faith.